Here are five Samsung Note features you should know right now so you can make your life a lot easier. The first one is Galaxy AI Note Assist. When you open a note like this, just tap on this button right here and then it will open this. Note smarter, not harder. It has a lot of information here about out of format, summarized spell check, translating text and transcribing and summarizing recordings, which is quite useful. So let's click on OK so we can accept this. This is a very useful AI feature you can directly use on the latest devices of Samsung. So right here, we for example can click on the plus button right above and we can for example give it a voice recording. Hello there, my name is Milan. I'm just going to press here and right here I have an audio recording. If you go to the right, you can actually transcribe your voice recordings into text notes. So let's do that right here. Let's press on it, then it's going to transcribe it for us. So which language is it? I'm just gonna do United Kingdom of English and it should be translating just like that. It's not perfect, but it says, hello there, my name is Milan. So when I want to, you can also summarize it, but it has to be long enough to summarize. This doesn't have to be summarized, but it's quite short. So let's press on this button. They can actually even translate it if that's needed. If you record it, a voice note of someone, you can also listen to it right here. If it's in a different language, you can easily translate it right there. I don't need to do that, so I'm just gonna press on the three dots and I can actually copy it, add it to a new page or a new note. A new page is of course inside the note, uh, another page, which I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna copy it just like that. I'm just gonna swipe that down or actually press on the X button. I'm just gonna press on save and make sure to press on right above, left of the uh, pen icon, you can actually open the text window again. So right here you can see speaker one. So let's remove that just like that. And right here I can just hold it, remove that and clean it up a little. Well right here I am, so right here I have typed something. I'm 21 year years old and I live in Holland and my favorite hobbies are creating YouTube videos. So if I want to transcribe this, I can actually press on the AI button again, and I can actually summarize it or spell check all my grammar seed corrections right below. We can actually look at the spelling. Hello, I'm just gonna press on it. And it needs a comma, of course. Well, it does need to start with caption right there. So I guess that's not perfect. But right here we have Holland. If I press on it, it is correcting it, but it's not perfect. So if I click on here, it removes the dot. It's not perfect with spelling and grammar, but it does work. So right here, I'm just press on summarize and then we're going to, I think we need more text. You need at least 200 characters. And when you have 200 characters, you can actually press right below and they can generate the summary. Milan, a 21 year old living in Holland, enjoys making YouTube videos eat apples daily and frequently visits the doctor. Which is not true, the last two parts are not true. I do eat banana daily every single morning. But right here we can actually copy it, add it to, for example, a note or tag, a new page. So let's put it on a new page. And let's open the page window again. And then right here you can actually see it's on the top and I have my summarization right there. Well, that was pretty much also step two, which is audio recording and transcript and there are very useful features with AI. So above, if I click on the audio wave icon, I can actually remove the audio recording. But if I want a bag, I can just get a bag like that. There's also more recorded audio on the right if you want to visit to more recordings. Sadly, I have a foldable phone, but if you have a Samsung Note or S24 Ultra, S25 Ultra, you can actually double tap with the pen and then immediately write something. So let's say I'm writing something and I have a very bad handwriting, so I'm really trying my best right here. Oh, it's, nah, it's so bad. Okay, so I have it right here, doctor appointment, 3 p.m. Friday. It's quite bad, I have a very bad handwriting. But right here, when I come back, I can actually clean it up a little. So if I press on this button right here, you can actually see that I can align my writing or convert it to text. So when aligning the handwriting, I can actually put it in a different spot, pretty much. So if I press on yes, then it should be changed a little. 
but I can also convert it to text, which can be quite useful and AI can do this. Doctor appointment, well, it didn't really get my three, but if I have a better handwriting, it's a lot better. So right here, I want to add it to a new page before and then right here. I do wonder if I just hold it down just like this, go to the AI button and then auto format it. Maybe meeting notes. If I put down PM, it's more logical. Maybe spelling and grammar can actually help me. Well, it did kind of get it, but it removed the PM, which isn't quite good, but it didn't format to Friday. So this is probably only useful if you have a very good handwriting. And of course, if you're using the pen, which can be quite better with writing. Well, did you actually know that there is an option right now to actually collaborate with someone? If you both have a Samsung device, you can easily share a note. So to the left, left above, on the three lines, you can actually see right here a beta feature called shared notes. Right here, we can create a shared item. And if we click on it, we can actually choose a contact to share note with or just share the link. So right here, you can see that I can see it and that's my name. So right here, I have a shared note. I can share this with someone and they will actually be able to see it. But if you want to share it and you already have a note, you can actually hold it down right below. You can actually see more options and then you can invite collaborators or add to shared notebook. So a shared notebook, I'm pretty sure it's something else. So let's add it to it. Oh no, it's the same. I'm sorry I got confused because you have Microsoft Run Note and that also has notebooks. But right here, we can easily share it with anyone and it's inside a notebook, which means we can easily add it to more people. So let's create a link again. And if I go back to shared notes, you can see I have a notebook, which means I can actually organize it and make new notes inside of this, which is quite useful. What we can also do is of course, create note covers. So if you hold down one, you can actually click on more options and then below you can generate a cover. So what kind of cover do you want for your notebooks? It looks a lot better. And right here we have one customized for us. So let's select it and then click on done. This will look a lot better and even better if I improve the, the view itself right above, then view and I can actually make a bigger grid, which means this looks a lot better. Of course, to keep your notes organized, you actually want to use folders. Right, left above, you can actually find this option and below you have the option for folders. You can also hold it down to create subfolders inside of this or open it just like this. So if you create a subfolder just like this, we can actually put everything in here. Let's call it YouTube, red color, edit, and then I can actually click on it and in this folder I can place them all down. To the left, if you go back, you can also press on the folders and you can see them all nice organized right there. Well, people really like these things because it keeps your things really organized. Anto, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can actually hit 10,000 subscribers at the end of this year. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.